Hi, first full day in Hong Kong. Uh, today's gonna be a street food day. We're gonna go exploring different local street foods and I'm meeting somebody to guide me along. A little lost. I think I'm getting close. This is Graham Street, wait. Who is this way? Hi. This is hard you to find. Found it. It's really hard to find. 11.30 already like full of people. All right, first stop, I'm here with Virginia. She runs a local food tour here in Hong Kong. Yeah. Thanks for showing me around. Thank you for coming. Today's a local food day, right? Local, local food, food day. day. It's an eight hour tour. Yes. Okay, what, what exactly are we eating right now? So you have the beef brisket and I have the esophagus and uh, mixed innards. Mixed innards, so, so you told me this place only has, how many servings of that? They have about five servings of the esophagus and then the beef stomach that we didn't get, they only had two servings, which we, and we didn't get. kind of missed out on already. You can come back tomorrow. God, I hate missing out on things. I have FOMO when it comes to food. Okay, so you got the egg noodles and I got the rice noodles. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna share my esophagus. Oh, thank you. Yes. Have a brisket. Oh, thank you. Oh, no problem. The okay. esophagus, interesting. Bon appetit. That's so awesome. Hey, it looks really weird. It's like really crunchy. It's crunchy. It's, got, it's almost like eating a little bits of cartilage. It is meaty. Like they marinated this so well. They stewed the heck out of the meat. And this is a long piece. Okay, yeah. the long is, uh, tastes like a jelly. Kind of. And then it's got like the, what do you call it, bronchiles? Uh-huh. It's got a little bit of a crunch inside. All right, I'm gonna chili oil. Mmm, chili oil. Now you're speaking my language. Let me, uh, let me help you here. Oh, thank you. Let's hot oil this baby up. You can take the heat. Oh, I love the heat. <laughs> All right, I think I've met my match. <laughs> this is so awesome. First stop, knocked out of the park. Yeah. This is okay. exactly what I've been craving. <laughs> exactly what I've been craving. Great bowl of beef noodle soup. Do yourself a favor and come try this place. And I love the whole like family run aspect of it. It's kind of hard to get to, so I'll try to mark it for you guys so you can find it. Well, what a great place. What's after this? French toast and milk tea. Let's do it. So we're, we're going to the food court. Met these guys on the way. Hey, oh my gosh. Hello. Say hi. Hello. I love food courts. I could spend a week probably just eating at all the stalls here. Oh, plus it's like air conditioned. All right, this place is basically a, a Hong Kong coffee shop. They specialize in French toast and milk tea. This is a good uh, food break. Eat some French toast and milk tea. And then we can get into some more serious stuff. Mm. Okay, it's not as sweet as I thought. So yeah. There's a lot of good tea flavoring here. And people think it's condensed milk, but Hong Kong milk tea is actually evaporated. This is the famous French toast. That's a lake of condensed milk in here. So, is this this is a breakfast thing or afternoon thing? Uh, afternoon tea. Oh my god, it's not bad. It's just so much of it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Two pieces of toast, drenched in egg, butter, and condensed milk. Oh, so definite. This will definitely put you to sleep. Wash it down with more sugar. I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Would you like some sugar with your sugar? Say this thing will give you a big sugar high would be an understatement. I think we'll be, we'll be awake for the next two days. <laughs> what are we walking to? We are walking to an egg waffle place. Egg However, wait, wait, wait. Are you the, the little egg? Dunza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the one that place. is viral. Right. But we're not going to a local one. We're going to a more modern one. Because okay. we're gonna put in Chinese sausage, lamb, dragon. Oh. We gotta walk up these stairs, though. Really? <laughs> this is what I like about Hong Kong: like you eat and then you work out. Like you basically go on a stairmaster after a meal. So this is the high-end egg waffle place Virginia loves, called Adi's. So check it out: they accept cash and octopus only. So if you don't have any cash, you better have some eight-legged sea creatures. Just kidding. It's a, it's a card. So this is Tansai, the little egg waffle. And you can see the lap chan. It's inside the waffles. It's so pretty, right? Look at all that meat in there. Mm. I think lap chan is perfect with this. Tansai perfectly crunchy and soft inside. And the sweetness of the lap chan complements it perfectly. This stuff. They're really good. They're not dropping it yet. Oh my gosh. Like 20,000 in the. Oh. Where are we? Sang Sui Bao. Sang Sui Bao? Yeah. 
Wait, I was here before. This is by Temple Street. Not really. Okay, fine. fine. Why do you call this dark side? Is Dark Vader in there or something? No, it's because generally speaking, expats live on the Hong Kong Island side. Uh -huh. So they don't really ever come to the across the uh -huh. I feel like this is my kind of stuff. This is my people right here. Yeah, so you kind of need a little bit more Cantonese here. You can't uh, really get okay. by with English. All right. Okay, this All way. Right, let's go. This is our big bowl of car noodles with basically every single creature to ever have lived in this bowl. So these are pig trotters. This is the fish maw right here. We've got tiny little shiitake mushrooms. Then we've got squid here. And then this is what I call oil noodles or egg noodles. Coming over to this side. This is fermented bean curd and then these, this is morning glory. Then as a drink, we have a salted lime in here with 7 up. And we call it Hao Ling Tut. All right, bowl number two. This is a big bowl of noodles. And what's the soup base? Uh, the broth that they use to marinate the beef with it. Oh, beef bath. And then this is the spicy, their secret spicy sauce. Secret, okay. Yeah. Mix that in. It's a little sweet. But I like the spicy sauce they have. That thing will bite you in your throat. This is your favorite thing, right? <laughs> Those of you who never had fish maw, it's like, it's... It's, it's really gelatinous. Yeah. So All right. It's good fish maw. Look, your skin's so nice already. You think so? Yeah. It's not as gelatinous as like a pig trotter. It's yeah. gooey and, and a little bit chewy. It's not a bad texture. And the noodles are, are really thick. I love the texture of these noodles. Chewy noodles are always good. I like the squid. It doesn't taste like rubber band. I never had like tiny shiitake mushrooms before. A little thing. You know why I love mushrooms? Because I'm a fun guy. Speechless. Hashtag dad joke. Outside of the sweetness, love everything about this. Next up, we're at an egg tart place, Hao Hua Bing Dian. This is a place frequented by one of my favorite actors, uh, Chow Yun Fat, Jo Yun Fa. He's really popular in Hong Kong. Pop pastry and there's cookie crust. Original is cookie. So we also have pop. Which one do you want to try? Both. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that even a question? So which which one's this? This is the pop pastry and uh -huh. this is the cookie, and they're still warm. Yay! Do not eat an egg tart that's not warm. Which one do you like better? Uh, I like original. Original? It's so crumbly. It's super buttery. A lot of egg flavor. I'm using Virginia as, as my egg Animal. tart holder and him model. This is the flaky one. Mmm! I just way more. Okay, so. Mmm. Because this is like really airy too. Yeah. This crust is pretty dense. Okay. That's yeah. a dense crust. This crust will not be able to get into college. It's too dense. Yeah. How many jokes am I going to be expecting? I don't know. Food just brings out the dad jokes in me. Okay. But this Excellent. Is... There you go. On to the next egg tart. Next egg tart. Fancy one? Fancy one. Let's see what a fancy one compared to the old school one. Because I can't keep my mind off. And look at this. So this is a flaky tart. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. This is better than the other place. Is it better than the other place? It's better than the other place. I mean, look at that custard dance. It's so creamy. It makes you want to close your eyes when you're eating it. Just like you're kissing someone, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll leave you alone with that tart. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is really good. No, oh, what's up? He How you doing? Have a private moment with the egg tart. Can I have a selfie with you? Sure. On to the next one. Egg tart again? Fallopian tubes. Oh, a little less attractive than egg tarts, but <laughs> all right, let's do it. When I need some peace of mind, I know where to find. Hmm. She seemed to really enjoy it. So inside we got some dates, 
some uh, lotus seeds, and, and this is the ingredient of the of the hour. This is the frog fallopian tube. The reason why it looks like like a jiggly block of, of like ectoplasma um, is because it's it's a fatty tissue of a dried, dried fatty, fatty tissue of uh, right, by, right by the fallopian tube of true frogs, not like a fake, fake frog, frogs, but true frogs. <laughs> That's very important. Some frogs they, they try to be untrue, you know. These are only from true frogs. Mmm, tastes like fish maw. <laughs> It's, it's less chewy than a fish mop. It's basically, it just tastes like a piece of fat. Really gooey. And it's actually pretty expensive. How much? It's like 10 bucks. 10 bucks less. for this bowl. I'm sure it's very nutritious, right? Which is why I'm gonna eat most of it. Sure, it's good for your skin. Girls should definitely do it. Like, texturally and taste-wise, I don't feel like it brings much to this dish, except for the health benefits. And then on your bucket list, check. That's it. <laughs> like, thank you for my first and probably last bowl. This, but this is not. This is definitely not my thing. <laughs> okay, so caveat to you, there is very hot broth in here. It's like a soup dumpling. Don't try to bite and then it's burn like a yourself. Real soup dumpling. So just make a little hole. Uh -huh. Let it cool down. Oh. Oh, it's like a fried beefy soup dumpling. I just want to see how much was in there. It was a lot of stuff. This might be the best thing we had all day. This is marvelous. Like the beef is just so subtle and delicate. It's not making you all like greased up. You can eat a bunch and not feel, I feel like, you know, the Chinese word meat, which is like overly oiled. And the dumpling, fried dumpling, crispy on the bottom. Mm, 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 mm. That's a juicy dumpling. I love what they do here. How they're able to basically fit a river of juice into every single one of their dumplings and pancakes. You don't really even need like any sauce with this because there's so much juice inside already. Mm. So if I had to choose, I would choose this more because it's got more of the crushed. And of course, you know what my channel is called. Strictly. <laughs> Oh, okay. Don't believe that. Okay, let's go. So these buses, you just ask if they're going in your direction. Yeah. And, then you and then when you get off, you just have to yell out where you want to get off. They pick up anywhere along the route and they let you But how drop. do you know what route they're going? You just ask them. So if it's around Nathan Road, if there's um, like a long hop around the area. They have to speak Cantonese, basically. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Squab and stinky tofu. Oh, stinky tofu? You didn't tell me about that. You don't like stinky tofu? I mean, I'll eat it. I'll try things. Oh, I thought, I thought one of us farted. Oh, is it worse? It's not dissipating. Oh, oh, it's just so... <laughs> I'm literally breathing through my mouth right now. What are we doing here? You need to wash your dishes. We gotta wash the dishes. Yeah. This is your hot tea. Uh -huh. You're just gonna rinse everything in the hot tea. Okay. There you go. Come to a restaurant here, you gotta wash your own dishes. This is like some kung fu tea sort of thing. Why are you cringing? I'm an expert. Oh, we didn't wash it. Oh. Like that. I'm sorry. That was not okay. civilized of me. I know a lot of you out there that love snake tofu. I mean, no offense when I say this. It tastes like a regular fried tofu. Mm -hmm. That smells, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you agree on that. So why add in the extra stink? I don't, it, it adds a nice extra layer of complexity. I, that's the only thing I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, you guys can debate about, on this in the, in the comment section, but this is why one of my biggest questions to anybody who loves stinky tofu is, it doesn't affect the taste, like texture, the it's flavor. Crispy. Yeah, the only thing is the added aroma. Oh, thank you. Ooh, looks good. This is a pretty pigeon. Beautiful color on the outside, right? Roasted and meat is like succulent and tender. Look at this. It's, it's glistening. And look, he's staring right at you. Oh, jeez, I forgot. I didn't see the head. You didn't see the eye? I didn't see the eye. Oh, good lord. All right. Look at that. I mean, this is one juicy bird. There's a little layer of fat right between the skin and the meat. 
Look, his juice is flowing like a waterfall down this bird. Oh, that's good. Oh, I mean, the skin is just roasted to perfection. It's, the skin almost tastes like duck skin. It's so fatty, you know? Which is why you should use a little bit of Worcester or vinegar to yeah, wick away the oil. Yeah. This is a great find. Oh, wow. I love how the skin melts away. It's super tender, but it's not gamey. I mean, I wish people would eat more pigeon, you know? Then we have less of it in, like, on the streets of New York. Just kidding. Don't eat wild pigeons. Actually, I never ate this with Worcester sauce before. No, wow. that was great, great idea. This is actually highly recommended. Thank you. Cold skewers. So we got pig offal, uh, squid, and turkey kidney. Oh, look at that. So they covered it in some sort of they like mustard. mustard and hoisin. Mustard and hoisin. This is, you hate this one. I don't, I don't eat pig intestines. I love this. Great. Mm. It's all yours. It's so crunchy and there's no funkiness. It's a little sweet, a little spicy. Colorful is great. So it's marinated very nicely. And the texture is absolutely perfect. Turkey Kenya. You know what that tastes like? It tastes like a chi chicken gizzard. Yes, yeah, right? a little bit. I, I like them all. Like, I, there's yeah. nothing I don't like about yeah. this. You hit it out of the park with this one. This is really good, little skewers. I mean, there's, there's a reason there's a line. They make these noodles with a bamboo rod. So everything is fresh, freshly fresh. made in the store. Freshly and made. And they make it with their... Feet and thighs and calves. <laughs> Alright, my last stop with Virginia. This is what, one of your favorite wonton noodle places? Yeah. Usually Hong Kong wonton noodles, the noodles are on top because they don't want it to get soggy. And the wontons are on the bottom. Usually it's shrimp and plus pork sometimes. Yeah. All right, I like to drink a little of the broth first. Mm. Shrimpy. Shrimpy. A little porky. Here, have some noodles. Okay. Our texture is great. They're springy and al dente. This wonton looks good. Mm. The shrimp is really snappy. The, my favorite thing is just kind of like putting by my mouth and slurping it in because the noodles grab onto some nice soup. Love that. It leaves you wanting more. Wanton more. Look at this one. More dad jokes than me. This just warms you up so nicely. All you need is a rainstorm in a Disney movie. And that's like a perfect afternoon. And this is like really Hong Kong comfort food right here. So recap, what's your favorite thing today? Started off great with the, with the beef noodle soup. Surprisingly, love the pigeon. Okay. Um, the dumplings are one of the juiciest dumplings I had in a while. And skewers were nice. Best. Yeah, it might be a tie between the second egg tart we had and the uh, the little the little beef patty bun. That was great. Yeah, I think that would be me. What about you? My favorite comfort food is always the wonton noodles. I would oh, always I tuck in the wonton noodles. This is very nice. I mean, it gives you like warm soup belly, which is the best belly ever. But thank you so much for a fantastic day. Thank you. Uh, Virginia is leaving me. I, st I still got one more stop to go. Appreciate you taking me around, showing me all the local foods and. Check her out. Like I'll have all, all her information in the description box below. And she does great tours here in Hong Kong. So if you're in Hong Kong, look her up. She'll give you a nice tour. We can cater or we do our public tours. So some of the stops we did were kind of a little strange, yeah. like fallopian tubes. And then we can do the regular stuff as well, like the one-ton noodles. Yeah. So definitely look her up. Thank you so much again. Thank you. The next place I'm going to is a really popular balzai fun. So clay pot rice, uh, probably one of the most popular in, in Hong Kong. I'm trying to find it. My GPS is really wonky in this city. Okay, here it is. So this is the Bombay duck fish. This thing is fried to absolute perfection. Crispy on the outside, a little salt, a little pepper, very classic. Cantonese cooking method. Salt and pepper. Like white pepper, not black pepper. Oh man. No wonder they call this a Bombay duck fish. This thing is so light it can fly away. That is a perfect little snack before the main course. Beef tendon with dry tofu skin. Everything is stewed into this clay pot. This is a great rice dish. 
because it's so saucy. That's why I eat this with balzai fun. And what's great about this tofu skin is that it's so thin and it has a bunch of little airy holes in here. And that picks up all that great sauce. Look at the tendon. The tendon is going to be a little gelatinous and chewy. This is some of the best part of the beef. That brisket pop is so good. Beef tendon is one of my favorite things ever. I love the beef flavor. Sometimes I'm too lazy to chew. And that's where the beef tendon comes in. Pop it in your mouth, squeeze it with your tongue, that heavenly beefy bliss. Just, just enjoy it. Like, you really don't need teeth for that. Another NTN food, no teeth needed. And of course, the tofu skin, like I said, soaked in all that sauce and gravy. When you're chewing, that gravy is just like, it's leaking all over your mouth. I mean, I've had great versions of this dish back in the States, but having it in Hong Kong, it's just next level. This is white eel with black bean sauce. This is another specialty to have in the store. Eel, haven't had this since Korea. Whoa, this is amazing. Mmm, juicy, tender eel. This meat is so clean. Oh. Give it a little mix. Oh. I mean, I've been seeing this thing in my dreams ever since I left last time. Even though it's so hot, that's a good burn, you know? That's like a had a great workout for two hours kind of burn. Lob chum, it's so smoky and sweet. Now I got the rice. There's only one thing that needs to happen. This awesome piece of beef tendon is some of this amazing gravy that just been begging, begging to be with the rice. Let's make this delicious food union come true, shall we? Well, you can be a part of like a special union between two amazing foods. Such a cozy, emotional feeling you get right here. That bite basically represented how today was. Perfect. See, what you do also is uh, you let it sit a little bit so it gets a little more crunchy on the bottom. Then you start digging for gold. That's clay pot gold right there. This is the best part of the rice. That is what clay pot is all about. That crunchy, seasoned, saucy rice. Now, it's time to give these dishes some undivided attention. So as always guys, all the places I went to is listed for you in my description box below. Again, a big shout out to Virginia for showing me around all day. And of course, thank you so much for following along. And until we eat again, see you later.